Hi everyone, it's Jeannie here and welcome to my channel. So if you haven't noticed from the title, yes, I got my hands on the Kylie lip kits. So today I am going to go through a semi-first impressions and reviews. So let's go. So just to go through the initial experience, so my friend Mel and I were comparing um, the Colourpop Ultra Mats and the Kylie lip kits. And we ended up placing an order for the Colourpops because they were fairly affordable and the Kylie lip kits were really hard to get. Um, I'll leave a link down below of the review I did on the Colourpops as well and I was really excited about that order However, for some reason I was still watching all the reviews with the Kylie lip kits and everyone was saying how amazing they were So I thought you know what I'm gonna have to try and get my hands on these because they seem to be really amazing So anyways, I ended up placing an order on Friday the 27th of May. Um, that would have been the Thursday the 26th release and I all I really wanted was the Dolce K but I didn't know what to expect so me in Mal placed an order as well so we are both up at like 8am Australian time um, trying to order these lip kits and I ended up buying all the colours that were available because I don't know I was just kind of in the moment and you know when you just I end up placing everything in my cart but I thought about it like if I go back and forth I might end up losing it so I end up just continuing with the order and ordering it all um which it turned out it actually sold out within 12 minutes so I was lucky enough to get my hands on all of the nine that were released that day but yeah so I think the following Monday, Mal got an email saying that um, hers is getting shipped and I was, I didn't get any emails. I was starting to freak out because I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because it's not much, there's not much communication. Like you get an email saying that your order's been confirmed, but you know, it, I don't know. The whole experience just kind of made me feel a little like um, nervous for some reason and I was like still like, you know updating my inbox every day waiting for an email and it seemed like it was forever but I did end up getting my shipment email on I think that following Wednesday um, but I don't know for some reason it just seemed like it was so long and plus there was other releases she ended up putting more releases up which was really freaking the shit out of me because I was thinking what if like you know other people placed it on that day and I still haven't got mine yet so yeah, I was really anxious about the whole thing, whether my order went through or not. But yeah, so it felt like the longest wait ever because it ended up getting into Melbourne that following the no, following Thursday, Friday, and I since I got the shipment where I got the tracking number, I was like stalking it, hunting it down every day, and it just felt like it wasn't moving. But I ended up getting it on Tuesday, the fourteenth of June. Um, that's because Monday was a public holiday and then the weekend, so that totally sucked. But yeah, I got my order and it came in a big box that looked like this. And inside the box, because I got nine, I got ten actually, ten of the lip kits, it came in two of these boxes which look like this. Now looking at other people's reviews, I think they've changed their design a bit because yeah, some girls have like, you know, the melted lipstick, like the drooping kind of thing where this is just all plain black. Um, but inside you get the this little foam thing to stop it from moving around and it comes like this So you've got the signature Kylie and inside it's got that little pattern drooping pattern You also get like this little thank you card um, which isn't personalized Sorry to break your heart, but everyone gets one of these so yeah, and you get these lip kits so for the individual packaging, this is what it looks like. So you've got those plumped lips with the melted lipstick and you've got Kylie written on it. And the packaging is coloured depending on the actual colour of the lip product. So this one is Candy K and you've also got the name written on top as well. And on the back, you've got Kylie's signature as well as Kylie's tips, which is pretty stupid because the tip is line lips with lip liner and fill lips with a liquid the liquid lip color which isn't that what you meant to do I don't know but it's also got the ingredients for the lip color as well as the lipstick and for some reason it's also got some translated into French which I don't know to me this is it says made in USA this is you know she's a obviously American like I don't know why they bother you know making it sound fancy and putting it in French as well so anyways so that is what it looks like and like I said you also you get two products it is a set um, the one of these costs $29 US each 
Um, and also, shipping to Australia is a flat cap rate of $14.95. So I think that is good because it's fairly cheap. Um, altogether, I bought 10 products, so it would have cost me, after conversion exchange rate, like about $450. Um, so it would have come up to about $45 each. But like I said, you get the matte liquid lipstick as well as a lip pencil. So I will show you um, all the colours that I got swatched on me to show you what they look like. So the first one is Coco K, which is a soft pinky nude. This one is Candy K, which is a soft warm nude. This one is called Exposed, and it's a light cool toned nude. This one is called Dolce K, and it's a medium beige nude. Next is called True Brown K, and this is a deep chocolate brown. And this one is called 22 and is described as a vibrant burnt orange. This one is called Mary Jo K and this is a true blue red. Next one is called Posy K and it's a dusty mauve pink. And last one, this is called Court K and it's a deep purple. So these are all the lip colours that I got and I'll go through the review on these. So the first one is the lip pencil which looks like this and it just looks like a normal, it looks like a MAC lip pencil to be honest. Like it has the colour on the end as well as a black, that black plastic kind of tube um, and it's got just Kylie's signature written on it in the middle. Um, but yeah, the actual lip pencil is actually quite nice. Like it glides on really nicely and it's quite smooth as well. So that's really good. Personally though, I am not, not just Kylie Lily products, but any with that black plastic kind of um, shell to it, I'm not a fan, on beca fan of because one, like when you apply it, sometimes it kind of gets onto the ring of the um, the shell, I guess, and it kind of smudges everywhere. So I'm not a fan of that, and plus I find it really hard to sharpen, but I don't know whether that's just me. So that's the only thing that I don't really like about it, but that's not to say it's just this actual, like, you know, it's not Kylie's product, it's any in general. Um, that's, yeah. But one thing I find, though, with hers is that the lids are sometimes really hard to stay on. So when you put the lid on, you really have to kind of push it down to hear it click. Because if you don't put it on properly, sometimes it's really loose and it comes off. But like I said, the formula, the actual product on the formula is quite nice. It's really smooth. There's no smell to it as well. So you could pretty much use this like as an everyday lip pencil by itself as well. Um, but yeah, so I, apart from the actual packaging, um, I like it. So I think it's really good. The main product is this, this is the liquid matte lipstick, which looks like this. And I think it's quite standard. It's similar to Colourpop where it comes with the, um, the clear casing. You can see the colour inside and also has a doe foot applicator, which I think their applicator is slightly bigger. Like it looks more, a little bit more chubbier, if that makes sense. But you know, it's, um, it's still fine. Like it's really easy to apply. And the actual, this liquid lipstick smells so strong. Like a lot of people were saying it smells like strawberry cupcakes, smells like strawberry cream. I personally think the more I smell it, it reminds me of Bailey's, the alcohol, minus the alcohol. But yeah, it is quite strong. So if, you, if you're very sensitive with smell, then it may get to you. But once this product dries, like it takes about 20 minutes, but oh, not 20 minutes, 20 seconds. But once it dries, like the smell, you don't really smell it anymore, but it looks something like this. And it's really easy to apply. It's really light. It's slightly creamy. Um, so you only really need, like, it says, like, a lot of people say you only need, like, one layer on it. And sometimes if you put more, um, it starts to get blotchy. So you only really need one layer. Um, but, yeah, but once it dries, it does dry quite matte. Like, it's like, it feels like I've put in, like, I've put a layer of, like, a coat on my lips and it stiffens. But it's that, dr it's that matte dry where it kind of makes my lips look wrinkled. Like, it creates that wrinkled. Now, I don't know whether that's just my lips because they're not as plumped as Kylie Jenner's. But, yeah, that's what I found. And these are extremely drying on my lips. Like, these are more drying than the Colourpop ones. And I can feel it, like, the whole day. Like, it actually makes me thirsty because my lips are so dry. But apart from that, the colour itself, I think it wears out better than the Colourpops. Like the Colourpop one, I was finding after I ate, it left like a, like a noticeable ring around my lips. These ones aren't as bad, they're quite subtle. 
but you know they do um, I mean they're not long lasting but they do last quite a while because they're um, matte products so I'll say these will last a good six hours on me depending on what I eat like I know one of my cousin's girlfriends she wore hers the whole day even after eating food and her stayed like the whole day for me when I eat I don't know, maybe it's just the way I eat, but mine comes off, like, all the time. So, for me, like, I do have to reapply it after I eat. However, majority of it does stay on on the outside. Now, surprisingly, when I purchased these, all I really wanted was the Dolce K. But, surprisingly, my favourite is actually Candy K and um, Exposed. Now, the one of my least favourite would have to be Court K, which totally sucked because I really, really love this colour. However, it is extremely patchy. Like, I don't know, it's just so patchy. And even if you put, like, another layer on it, it doesn't help with, the, with it. It kind of makes it more patchy. So, this is the only one which I think they'll may need to re-look at the formula. And I do know that, you know, she has previously changed a few of the formula because... Some of the colours were slightly different. And I think it also appears different on different people as well. So, um, if you have Asian skin, like me, then, you know, this is what it may look like on you. However, the colour itself, like, for example, 22, to other people, it looks a lot more vibrant and dark. But in person, for me, I don't know, on me, it kind of feels a little bit more subtle and more classic and, like, muted a bit. So I think depending on your base lip colour as well as your skin tone, it may actually bring out the colours differently. So, so overall, do I think these are worth it? Well... I do think that they are overly hyped. Like, I think because it's got her name to it and they're exclusive to Kylie Cosmetics. Um, but at the same time, there are good points and bad points. So the good points are, you know, that the colours are all amazing. And, like, they're all the colours that I personally look for when I look at, um, like, lip products. And the they're quite, like, I think they're affordable. Like, for 29 US dollars, you get two products where, what you know... A lot of different brands that's how much you pay for one so I think it's good and if you live in the States I'm pretty sure it's free delivery and shipping to Australia is really cheap as well and it actually doesn't take that long even though it felt like it was a month but it's actually quite quick as well however the actual formula itself like the lip pencils are great the these ones it may I know everyone has a different experience because for me I found it really drying that's the only thing that I didn't like about it that it was really dry and to be honest I think I was more hyped up like, I was more excited about the whole delivery process rather than getting it because I've had these for a while and I haven't really played around with it till now. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, that is my review. Um, if you have these lip kits, let me know your thoughts and let me know what you think of the product. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!